Good morning. Um, day five of my Great Glenway adventure. Um, I'm now in in Van Morriston, and we're going to head towards and um, take the path to Drumadrotic. Drumad, Drumadrock, Drumadrock. Anyway, Drum, as they know, as people call it. I think it's Drum a Dock -ic. So I do apologise for the. Uh, names I'm coming out with. Someone will probably uh, be saying I'm wrong. So yes we're just here and we're gonna head over that way, Great Glen Way and then I think we'll go up behind this forest up the top and there's a um like a sculpture view view and sculpture so we'll get ourselves up there. From that way, which is Fort Augustus, yes, Fort Augustus, um, along the top, up and down the Loch Ness, but you'll see yesterday's video with that on. So, yes, yeah, so we're, we're getting there. So, head towards from a drop it today, and then tomorrow we've um, got from a drop it down in the Inverness to the castle to the finish. Wow. And uh, how am I feeling? Sit rep. Um, I think my body's aching. I'm not in any pain. Um, just, just sore, but like a good sore. You know, when you feel as though you've done something, like you know, you've you've worked your body. Um, so yeah, so I um, had a great night's sleep last night. It was very warm. Um, um, yeah, really enjoyed it. It's it's like when you're on any, any holiday and it's sort of like coming to the end. I, mean, I don't want it to end. I wanted to keep going a few more days. So I forget it, you know, when we're leaving Venice, possibly tomorrow night. Um we may stop off somewhere on the way home because it's about a five hour journey. So I might do a wild camp somewhere of ideas where but we'll see well, let's get this adventure over first so yeah so we'll head up up the them hills and um, no doubt take some videos and some photos things that are worth seeing but yeah really enjoying it let's go oh i don't think you can tell how steep that hill is coming out of in that mountain. oh it's a calf burner like Oh, I need to start the morning. Oh. Well, hopefully, once you get the top of here, I'll be pretty much on the top of the hill for the day. But yeah, I don't think the video does it justice. But you'll find out yourself when you come. Here we are at the view catcher. Been quite a tough walk, but it's worth it, mind. Now through there, all the way, all the way through there, it's Ben Nevis. Pretty much the bottom of that is where we started from. So I think we've walked. Oh, let's work this out. So we've got about 20. 25 mile left to walk. So walked about 40, no, about 50, about 50 mile in now. I think I might be wrong. Um, it's a 20 mile left to drive, isn't it? Yeah, that's about 50 mile to walk. So yes, but there you are. Another iconic landmark on the Great Glen Way. Done. 
tell it's windy, but just just breezy, really, just a nice cool breeze. All about the views. Yeah, fantastic. You know, I'm just walking away here, thinking to myself that everyone's got their their own thing in life, what they like to do, where they like to go, whether you know, Far East America, Europe sitting on a beach, sitting by a pool, city breaks, you know, but I tell you what it is, this is my place, like, this is just paradise for me, look at this, the highlands of Scotland, yes, it's windy, it's a bit cold. Right, we're about three, 3.2 miles, 3.3 miles from Inver-Morriston. Just come down there off the top and uh, as you can see, little fire pit, little camping spot right on the trail. So there's a couple we've seen. So yeah, so basically if you're going to wild camp, this walk, to be honest, there's loads of places you could wild camp, you know, uh, the only this is not meant to wild camp is actually on the canals unless it's a trailblazer or designated spot and um, where you'll see on me previous night's videos where I camped what I normally do is just when I got there so I'll keep those about I just checked where to camp you know because sometimes on the little map book it sort of points at a certain place but it's not specifically there so I didn't want to camp on the on the wrong side of the lot or whatever and upset anyone but yeah so loads of places to wild camp it's something that i was a little bit worried about when i looked at sort of from fort augustus up to inverness you know there wasn't that many in the book but i know scotland you can sort of wild camp pretty much anywhere but yeah there's definitely a couple of spots anyway so don't don't worry about that as long as you're quite happy just to camp up in the woods somewhere. Well, beautiful up here. Isn't it? <laughs> he's like, oh, he's off again. Right. Carry on. We eventually made it. Dromadrotic Hotel, um, the Loch Ness Hotel, Dromadrotic. Um, lovely little single bed. TV, woo, comfort. But get this, get this. Right, because obviously from tomorrow, tomorrow night, um, well, tomorrow morning, I've got a 20 miler to get in Vanessa. So I'm going to wild camp halfway through, probably at the eco campsite, somewhere like that. Um, so this is me last sort of that night of luxury before wild camping tomorrow and then possibly wild camping halfway on my way home but look at this right so i've been away now since last monday morning had a couple of showers on the canals and that in the shower blocks but oh my goodness we have a bath yes that's right ladies and gentlemen a bath a bath that I can lie in and soak in hot steaming water with bubbles whilst reading a book and drinking a cold can of lager. I am going anywhere tonight. I'm staying in. <laughs> Happy days.